Victoria Police has brought charges against another Sydney resident in connection with the bold daylight assassination of notorious underworld figure Gavin Capable Preston. Detectives from the Homicide Squad have officially charged 24-year-old Rabiz Ayeb with one count of murder for his alleged involvement in the shooting of Preston. The incident occurred last September while Preston and an associate were seated outside a cafe in Keeler. Zaid is from Yaguna and had been detained in New South Wales on unrelated charges following his arrest in Sydney's CBD on October 10. He was since detained at the Long Bay Prison. Subsequently, he made an appearance in Bathurst local court on Thursday 11 April 2024. During the proceedings, detectives successfully petitioned for his extradition to Victoria. Meanwhile, a 22-year-old Sydney resident named Jaden Tito had previously been arrest? charged in connection with Preston's murder towards the end of last year. Zaib seems to have established close ties with a diverse array of Sydney's crime figures and bikies, like Tarek Zahed, the sergeant at arms of the Comancheros. His Instagram feed, where he portrays himself as an entrepreneur, is littered with snapshots alongside various notorious underworld figures like KVT gang boss Joseph Vokai and deceased Comanchero Omar Zahed. These associations hint to a network entrenched in the city's darker circles. Beyond his social media presence, the tattooed gangster dedicates much of his online activity in showcasing intense gym sessions and flaunting luxurious rides through the city streets. His liking for designer clothing and footwear is also evident, suggesting a lifestyle deeply intertwined with the finer things in life. Before this, Jaden Tito, 22, was taken into custody in New South Wales in October last year after search warrants were executed by Victoria and New South Wales Police from 6am on 25th of October at residential properties in Bradbury, Yaguna, and Campbelltown. Tito from Bradbury was arrested without incident, and the police released the arrest footage to the public. In the video, he can be seen handcuffed, wearing red shorts, with burn marks on his arms. Media outlets speculated that these burns were caused during the process of lighting the getaway car. He was subsequently charged with murder and appeared in the Campbelltown local court, where police filed an application for his extradition to Victoria. It remains uncertain as to who among the two was the main trigger man in the dramatic daylight shooting. Nevertheless, the police have confirmed that both played a significant role in the incident. It's worth noting that Tito was not previously known to law enforcement prior to the shooting. According to reports Zaib and Tito were both accomplished rugby league players. Zaib played for the Greenacre Tigers and in 2018 was selected in the NRL club Canterbury Bulldogs Ball Summer Cup squad while Tito was named in the under-15 Summer Development squad. This is how he was arrested back in October 2023. And this is him being extradited from Sydney to Victoria. Gavin Capable Preston, a notorious gangland figure with a rap sheet as long as his list of enemies, met a violent end at a busy cafe in Keeler on a beautiful Saturday morning. Shot dead in cold blood, Preston's demise left a trail of mixed emotions among those who had crossed paths with him. With media and social media lit with reports of his violent end, it ignited a flurry of speculation, fear, and even relief among those who knew him or were connected to his criminal activities. Preston's life had been a turbulent journey through the underworld, marked by betrayals and ruthless dealings. It has become clear that he was killed by being shot with deliberate and ruthless intent, without any provocation or mercy and the act of shooting was carried out in a calculated and emotionless manner, with the intention to take his life without any remorse or hesitation. CCTV footage has captured the chilling moment when Preston met a violent end while having breakfast. The shocking incident unfolded at Sweet Lulu's Cafe in Keeler Village, where his killers unleashed a hail of bullets in broad daylight. The 40-second clip captures a hooded assailant dressed in black, sprinting towards the cafe's outdoor seating area, relentlessly firing in the direction of the target. 
Terrified customers at neighboring tables scramble to the ground, shielding their faces from the chaos, as the underworld figure slumps in his seat, ultimately collapsing beside his breakfast table. Preston, was having breakfast with our boss Magni Jr., also known as AJ, the son of crime figure Nabil Magni, who had tragically met a similar fate in 2020. Abbas Jr. managed to react swiftly, escaping the table mere seconds before the gunfire erupted, as he appeared to have noticed the gunman approaching from a nearby car park. Video suggests that he was paying close attention and noticed the person carrying a weapon coming towards their table, unlike Preston, who was engaged in a conversation with Magni, facing in the opposite direction and seemingly unaware of the imminent threat. Preston died at the scene while Magni suffered serious injuries, having been hit in the stomach. More than 10 shots were fired during the incident. Around 8 to 9 hit Preston, few of these rounds struck his head, causing blood to cover his face and neck, obscuring his neck tattoo. His lifeless body laid where it fell for hours before police and paramedics arrived to remove it. Several bullets struck the black-colored wall in the background, which ironically featured a mural depicting large wings resembling those of an angel. Bullet holes were seen clearly on that wall. Back in 2012, his lawyer told the court that Preston wanted to become like one of the people on the tram, an ordinary person, he desired to lead a normal, everyday life like the regular passengers on a tram. He wished for a simpler, law-abiding life, free from any complications or illegal activities and had aspiration for a fresh start with a change in his way of life. However, his actions spoke louder than his words, and his new neck tattoo was a sign of a new criminal page getting added to his life, and according to reports he was back at evil games and resumed criminal activities. If you're looking for more exciting and eye-catching regular bikey updates, don't hesitate, smash that subscribe button, spread the word rapidly, hit that like button, share your thoughts in the comments section, and for the true grid Spartans out there, consider sending a super thanks to show some love. It goes a long way in keeping us motivated and the channel thriving, as most of the videos on this channel are not monetized due to its crime-related content. Stay tuned, stay curious, stay awesome and take care. Wu-Tang